the rain has just set in. It'll be there today, tomorrow into Saturday, and we could see up to a third of a year's worth of rainfall in just one day. Red disruption. But yeah. we now have this red warning in force. This is the highest level of weather warning that we have. We don't issue them very often, on average around about one a year. So we have an animation here to show you how much rain is set to fall as we head through the next 24 hours. So Inverburby is within the red because of that. We've already seen scenes of flooding in the Republic of Ireland. We're set to see more of that as we head through the day today. So far, it's only just started raining. We have got some warnings in force, some flood warnings. So the more we get rain, the higher the flood warnings rise. So 14 flood alerts at the moment three flood warnings, no severe flood warnings. By this time tomorrow morning, all of these numbers will go up. And so far, we've had a little bit of rain, around about 50 millimetres of rain, so around about five centimetres of rain has fallen so far. Now, one of the big things, four in five people in the UK don't know what to do if they're at risk of flooding. So we're going to put on our social media the websites you need to go to. First of all, you can put your postcode in to check if you're at risk of flooding. And if you are, you can then sign up to these warnings and they will come to your phones free of charge. It will tell you everything that you need to do to make sure that you stay safe. So the rain has arrived. It is set to get heavier and it is lasting today, tomorrow and into Saturday. So here's the all important details. So this is how much rain has already fallen, 55 millimetres, and it's worth pointing out, if you are planning on travelling over the next few days, 30 centimetres of rain is enough to move a car. The advice is do not drive through flood waters. 75% of people will carry on with their journey, only 25 finding another route. And if you do find another route and don't drive through flood waters, that could save your life. Now, weather warnings in force at the moment, widely yellow, one in Northern Ireland soon to expire, widely yellow for Northern England, much of Scotland. But it's this red warning, this rare red warning that comes into force later on today for up to 200 150 millimetres of rain. Like I said, that is a third of the year's worth of rainfall in just one day. Still warnings in force on Friday and further warnings in force on Saturday as well. So once the rain sets in, it just won't stop. So this is the radar sequence from overnight. The ban of rain started through England and Wales, the Republic of Ireland, where we saw scenes of flooding, where streets turned to rivers, and the whole ban moving north, just knocking on the door of the northern half of Scotland right now and it is set to get heavier. So we're going to zoom in in detail and look at what happens through the rest of today across particularly eastern areas of Scotland, southern areas of Grampian, southern areas of Aberdeenshire. The winds are piling in, so it's these upland areas that are set to see these huge amounts of rainfall adding up and up and up. And the problem is we still have a lot of trees in full leaf. That means that we'll have drop block drains, block gutters, and that will lead to exacerbating the situation of flooding. So this is what it looks like for everyone else for the rest of the day. We have our band of rain moving into Scotland. For the rest of England and Wales, it's sunshine and showers, but gusty winds. It's not just our rain warnings we have in force, wind warnings as well for up to 60, 70 mile an hour. Temperature wise today, 18, 19 degrees at best, but miserable under this rain. And as I said, once it sets in, it is here all day today, all night tonight and into tomorrow. So the flood warnings are set to rise as we head through the next 24 hours. Storm Babette arrived yesterday. We name a storm and it's set to cause widespread disruption. But later on this evening, a red, red rainfall warning will be coming into force. And we issue those when there is a danger. Why? Because of the colossal amount of rain that is set to fall. So within the red warning area, let's see how much rain should be falling here in a year. So in the Burby, Burby in Scotland, in the red warning area, in a year, should have around about 700 millimetres of rain, so just over 70 centimetres of rain. Today alone, it is set to have 250 millimetres of rain. So a third of their whole year's worth of rainfall will be falling in one day. And the impact will be flooding, widespread flooding. At the moment, we have a few flood warnings in force. We have flood alerts, flood warnings, and no severe flood warnings in force values will go up and it's really important to sign up to these free flood warnings to let you know in the area where you live that there's a risk of flooding and then what you should do. But here's the latest weather warnings. So at the moment we have yellow, amber and red weather warnings in force across the UK and they come into force, the red ones, later on this evening. So let's take a look at our weather warnings for today then. The weather warnings are in force across parts of Northern Ireland and also across parts of Northern England, across Scotland as well, but not just for heavy rain, for strong winds as well. We could see winds of up to 60 or 70 miles an hour. Warnings for today, warnings for Friday and continuing into Saturday as well. The band of rain moved its way northwards overnight last night. 
We saw scenes of flooding in Cork and it is just arriving into Scotland now and this whole band of rain will move its way northwards. Once it sets in, it will continue, particularly parts of southern Grampian, southern Aberdeenshire and the impacts will be widespread flooding to properties, huge disruption to the travel network. This area is often have landslides as well. Some areas could be cut off completely with power outages as well.